My research was about this national and subnational narratives that had framed uh, social protection responses to the Zika epidemic in Brazil. For its characteristics, Zika demanded long-term complex and a, a rapid response from the state. And this has also highlighted the lack of integration of public policies and also some of the weaknesses and fragilities of public policies in Brazil. So uh, the idea about using this narrative approach is that an epidemic um, depends on th the epidemic response depends on how the stories are told about it. So who is who is doing this framing? Which kind of evidence is used? Which kind of knowledge um, is being considered? And this has uh, material effects uh, on the reality of those uh, affected populations. So uh, at the national level, the state response was mostly framed through an austerity narrative. At the moment, we were facing a huge political and economic crisis in Brazil. And this was translated into budget cuts and also into maintaining the and controlling the access to social benefits in Brazil, aligned with a moral discourse uh, to combat corruption. At the same time, uh, the epidemic was seen as having a clearly beginning uh, at the Northeast, an outbreak in the Northeast. This was controlled by the state and it was contained by the end. So it, an epidemic with a beginning and middle and an end. And this narrative also ignored the structural problems that, had, um, that gave rise to the epidemic, but also the long-term consequences for the children and uh, their caretakers as well. And most of the governmental efforts were mosquito-centered. They were focused to combat the mosquito and not to take care of the affected population. So uh, I have interviewed many um, subnational actors in Recife, in Pernambuco, and Campina Grande, João Pessoa, and in Rio de Janeiro. And although there are some differences between their responses and their narratives, what it was easy to perceive is that Zika, despite having some national guidelines from the federal government, Zika, the Zika social protection response was mostly constructed um, at the fieldwork level through mid-level bureaucrats, but also through uh, the agency of field workers that are constantly dealing with the affected population. And those are mostly women, bureaucrats, uh, social assistants, um, teachers or therapists, nurses that work more than we're supposed to do, building informal networks or using their personal connections to ease the access of this affected population and the mothers and the children to uh, access social benefits and the public policies they are entitled to. So I used to say that Zika was a policy that was made in practice from women to women. The, those bureaucrats, they are mostly women that work more than we're supposed to do. They work for uh, unpaid hours. They developed personal bonds with the mothers and with the children. And their discourse is mostly seen in a way, well, I do this because I know what she's been through it. Um, because I, I, I feel empathy for this, because I could be in her own shoes. So that's it, like despite all the strict guidelines from the federal government, in reality, um, the social protection response was to Zika was made through the agency of these um, bureaucrat women at the state and local level.